What's up, everybody, and welcome back to A Beer A Day with TK. This is Chuggy award-winning beer reviewer TK coming at you with a special video today. And this is going to be something that I saw my friend Paul from PA Brew News do, and I thought it was a really good idea. So basically what he did was he picked his top 10 beer reviewers under 1,000 subs. Uh, and I really like this because, you know, one thing that we should try to do as a brew reviewer community is help pull the other guys up with us. Now, getting to a thousand isn't a magical mark. You still have to have view hours and all this other stuff before you make a penny. Um, but I think for most of us, we view that 1000 threshold as, I don't know, kind of the first hurdle of many towards maybe one day becoming monetized or, you know, maybe just feeling like that you're being rewarded for the effort you put into your channel. Uh, regardless of how you feel about any given channel, people put a lot of time into this, recording the videos, editing them, uploading them. Uh, they spend money buying beers. And in many cases, like me, I researched the beer first. Um, so you do put a lot of time and money into this and really don't get anything out of it. Now, I'm not saying I'm in it for money. I think most people start this as just something fun and, you know, maybe a way to meet people and, and express whatever it is you do on the internet. And that's, that's my goal. Um, that being said, if you could make a couple of dollars off of it, probably couldn't hurt. So if you don't watch these channels, check them out. And if you like them, please give them a subscribe. So I'm going to give you a list. Um, he said 10. I probably go in a little bit over that with 13. It's always hard for me to pick, um, you know, who, who are my, my favorite under 1,000. So I'll give it a, a, a shot here. Uh, so one is going to be Ginger Yeti Road Beers. So obviously Ginger Yeti is my best friend. Um, you've probably seen him in a lot of my videos. He started his own channel in the last year and is doing really well. Um, he hit the ground running. I think he had a, a little bit of a benefit of doing beer reviews first and kind of watching how things go. So then when he hit the ground, he knew what to do. So his first videos aren't as bad as mine. Mine look like proof of life hostage videos. Um, now, Yeti does all kinds of cool stuff where he goes on the road with heavy metal bands. I think he's about to hit the road in a couple weeks here. Um, so, you know, not only will he do beers in and around Cleveland, but stuff all over the country or world, depending on what band he's with and where he is at any given time. So check him out. Next up is my buddy, Josh, the malted gentleman. Um, check him out. Josh Ellis is probably one of the first people that I met on YouTube. Uh, he's out in Iowa. And he does really cool stuff as well. Um, so if you're interested in what's in the Midwest, further Midwest from where I am, check out Josh Ellis. He not only has the coolest name in the beer reviewer game, but Malted Gentleman. Uh, he also has some great taglines. If you watch his videos, he's your virtual drinking buddy. And he says something at the end uh, along the lines of you only have uh, one liver, so use it wisely, which is all brilliant. I don't have anything that cool. So check him out. Uh, next up on the list is going to be my buddy Wayne from Bucks County Beer Reviews. Um, Wayne is another one who started as a viewer initially, followed a lot of the channels, used to send beers to a lot of the reviewers, um, and then started his own channel and is killing it. So he's in Bucks County, Pennsylvania, right outside of Philadelphia, my hometown. Um, and he does a lot of beers from the area. He also collects old cans. So if you're a can collector, check him out and see what he has going on. Uh, next up is PA Brew News, and this is Paul. Um, Paul was up at the Brewer Viewers Get Together, and he's the one who started this kind of, I want to call it a challenge, because it's just shouting out some of our favorite channels. Now, Paul's been around for a while, and I think he's up at about 960 or so as far as subs. So he's pretty close. Um, so, you know, a couple more subs can get him over that threshold. So go check him out. Um, he does all kinds of stuff. He also has a uh, kind of exploration channel. Uh, I think it's PA Outdoors Couple, as well as PA Brew News. Um, so it might be Pennsylvania Outdoors Couple. I don't remember if it's PA or Pennsylvania. I don't remember if he abbreviated it. Um, but obviously he does beer reviews. He does art. He plays music. And he goes around in kind of the parks and, you know, nature out in Pennsylvania and, and shows you what's going on in his neck of the woods. So two really cool channels there. Uh, both of his are, are on that list. Next up, One Flight Down, another guy from the Brewer Viewers Get Together. Um, he's out in Winnipeg, Ontario, Canada. Um, so obviously, if you're interested in what's going on in the West Coast of Canada, it's got all kinds of cool beers there. He also does improv and acting and that kind of stuff. I guess it's that comedy slash acting or whatever you do. I don't know what category it fits in. Um, but he's at a lot of festivals and different things and, you know, really creative guy. So check out his channel. Uh, next one up, Don's Beer Reviews. Don is my brother from another mother out there in Scotland. Um, I absolutely love Don's channel. My wife doesn't watch any of our beer reviews, not even mine, but she'll watch Don's, which makes me feel terrible about myself. Um, Don has obviously access to a lot of beers in Scotland, but all over Europe. Um, and he also subscribes to a lot of beer uh, services. So we get boxes of all kinds of different beer all the time. Um, funny guy, really charming guy. And, you know, again, one of my favorite beer reviewers. So check out Don. 
Next up is Shane's Craft Beer Review, and he's out of Niagara Falls area. Again, Shane is the one who put together the brew tube uh, get-together. Um, I met him at the first one in person two years ago. Really good dude, really funny guy, really creative. Um, he goes above and beyond with the green screens and trying to do you know, really good videos. Um, I kind of just hang out in the shed and hope for the best. Um, but Shane, you killed it with the event this year, my brother, and I hope you get some more subs to get you closer to 1,000. Uh, next one up, Nutmeg to Palmetto. Um, Chase, he was also at the BrewTube get-together, and he's down in South Carolina. And he'll actually be hosting next year's get-together. Um, I don't know about you guys, but where I live, I'm lucky that I'm in Ohio. Ohio, Pennsylvania, and Michigan are probably three of the best states for beer in America. Um, obviously, the West Coast is quite good as well, but that's quite a ways away from, from where I am. Um, so I do see a lot of beers from this area that are really good. But what I don't see is stuff from, you know, kind of these other areas. I talked about this before with Josh out in Iowa. It's good to see what they have out that way. Um, he's down there in South Carolina. So I don't really think about, you know, the Carolinas or the South as, as kind of beer producing states. So it's awesome to see what's coming out. Uh, now, I did a review on a South Carolina beer the other day, and it was, it was really good. Um, distribution just doesn't make its way up to Ohio, so I never see these beers. So if you want to learn more about South Kakalaka, check him out. He's got some great stuff. He also does other things as well. He does Red and Red, I think it's Real Reviews, so they do movie reviews, and he also does a sports one. So he's a man of many talents, has his hand in multiple cookie jars, um, so check out his channel. Really great stuff. Next up is Chris from Off the Tenth. This is somebody that I had subscribed to, um, but I didn't know him very well until we went to the Brew Reviewers get together. Now, Chris has been around for years, does really good stuff, and really knows what he's talking about. Um, but then when I, you know, when I met him, I started following his channel a little more closely. I kind of realized how good this dude is. Um, you know, there are certain guys out there that I think are just a little bit better, or maybe in some instances a lot better than us. Uh, and I think Chris is kind of up in that upper echelon with Rob J. Um, and I'd probably say Joe from the Beer Patrol of guys that are maybe just maybe slightly uh, more refined palates, a little bit better, a little bit more gifted, a little more, a little bit more comfortable in front of the camera. Um, and I think he does great stuff. So check out his channel. He deserves to get over a thousand after all the time and effort he's put into this over these years. Now, next up, I got a couple other guys I want to throw in. Um, and he says, I'm probably hitting 10 here, but I'm gonna throw a few bonus channels in there for you. So Big B Beer Reviews, he's down in Florida. Big B does a lot of versus ones. So maybe he'll do like Yingling Premium versus Miller High Life or, you know, whatever it might be, these blind versus challenges to see if you can figure out which beer is which and which you prefer. Um, obviously has access to a lot of Florida beers. And the other thing that he does is he runs one of the Facebook pages where us other beer reviewers can go and kind of dump our videos to try to, you know, get some more um, attention or traction. I really appreciate the time and effort he puts into doing that for us. He doesn't have to, and he does. So now for the bonus ones, I got a couple other guys and I just, I don't I can't leave them out. Um, Ridgeopolis would be one. He's out of Delaware. Ridge does really awesome stuff. I think he's out of New York City originally, but lives in Delaware now. Um, he's a big IPA guy. So he has guest hosts on all the time. So sometimes he'll have his buddy Bear on and some other guys. Um, you know, really cool East Coast stuff. If you're an IPA head, uh, pardon me, a hop head, go check that channel out. Really great stuff. Um, another one would be Bibulous Brian. Brian's down in D.C. And Brian does a bit of a mixed bag. He's not just beer. He does beer, wine, liquor, kind of the whole gamut of alcoholic beverages. Um, you know, again, I don't see a lot of beers from D.C. and Virginia in those areas other than maybe the Vale here and there, but that's about it. Um, so it's kind of cool to see, you know, what's going on in kind of the mid, I guess was that the mid-Atlantic or I guess it's just past the mid-Atlantic states down there. Um, check Brian out. Um, the other one would be Slurpee Dave. If you're not checking out Slurpee Dave, you're missing out. Slurpee Dave is in the Isle of Man. He goes around to a lot of pubs in the Isle of Man and other places in England. Um, and I think more recently he was down in Spain on vacation. Um, he does jokes. He visits pubs. He reviews beers. He's just a really, I don't know, a really funny guy, a really cordial guy. He seems like a guy I'd want to sit down with and have a couple beers and just joke and laugh. Um, does really good stuff. And the last one I'll kind of throw in here. Um, is going to be um, the Piping Brew Nerd. I think he's got around 250. Um, I started following him not that long ago, following each other back. He does some really cool stuff as well. Um, so, you know, check some of these channels out. Maybe all of them aren't your flavor. That's cool. Just go through them, watch them, check something out, try something different and see, you know, there might be some areas where maybe you're more interested about the beer as they do, or maybe some of these personalities are just going to come through and resonate with you. So check these channels out, and let's give these guys some likes and subs, watch some of the videos, and let's do what we can to get them over a 1,000. 
So that's all I got today. That's my little spiel. Thanks for listening. Um, I hope you enjoy some of these channels. I hope you enjoy my channel as well. Um, and if you do, if you don't sub already, please hit subscribe. Um, you know, I, I, I don't really say it much in my videos because I kind of get embarrassed feeling like I'm chasing subs. I do a little throwaway sentence at the end. Um, but it, it is really important to guys and girls that put in a lot of time doing this stuff. And if you do watch the videos and you enjoy the content, you know, um, something as simple as uh, liking the video or leaving a comment or subscribing really helps the channel grow. And it helps us beat the algorithm because that's really what we're doing is we're trying to beat uh, YouTube's algorithm, which kind of pushes us down and pushes up a lot of this um, corporate sponsored content. Um, so if you like the videos, help these, help the new channels grow or help these channels that are the smaller channels, help them get up to where they need to be. So, hey, thanks for your time and have a glorious weekend. Till next time, Chuggy Award-winning beer reviewer TK out.